last time on Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Bulma asked Gohan to investigate a power reading when one of the Saiyan scales was picking up. The reading turned out to have come from leftover Cybermen, thus confirming the scouter was in working condition. Such a device would prove useful when the Z warriors go to Namek. Earth's Dragon Balls dormant, their only hope for bring back their friends are with the Dragon Balls of Narek. With the help of Mr. Popo, Bulma found the spaceship that Kami arrived from Earth on. Can Bulma prepare this ship to take her, Gohan, and Krillin to Namek? Stand by for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot! Hello, and welcome back to Dragon Ball Z Kakrot with me, Mount Z. So, before Gohan and company head off to Planet Namek, he has some chores to do. So, I need to check on Chi Chi first. Uh, Mom's always worried about me. <sighs> well, what's going on with Chi Chi? Hey up, Mom! Uh, <sighs> huh? Oh, Gohan! What's up? Are you hungry? Want me to fix you something? Huh? No, I'm fine. Are you okay? Tell me what's wrong. Hi! Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. It's been so long since I last saw my little Gohan, and now he's going off to space. The most I can do for him now is whip up a hot, home-cooked meal. He's a growing boy, after all. What was there in the fridge again? Um... Carrots, potatoes, onions, meat. All in scarce supply. Huh. So this is a shopping run. What? Huh? What that about meat? Huh? Whoops, did I say that out loud? Don't mind me, Gohan. Are we short on food? Sure, that's okay. Like I said, it's enough for you to worry about. Uh, okay. And then she said something about being short on meat. What? Meat, huh? Carrots, potatoes, and onions, too. Hey there. Is that all? Let's blow up her and get to far filling that fridge. We'll turn Chi Chi's frown upside down. Okay. <laughs> what a great kid. Thanks, Gohan. Do what you can. Leave the onions and potatoes to me. You take care of the rest. Alright, so just need to find. Meat and carrots. Okay. Got it. For beef meat, I could probably do a spell of hunting. Oh, I already have plenty of supplies. Hmm. Eh. Turn in. I've got everything, Grandpa. Yep. Great Tommy. I just wrapped up too. Hey there. Here's my hole. You should be the one to deliver it to your what? mother. Aren't you coming too? Nah. The truth dawned on me while rounding the stuff up. You and those ingredients are all your mom needs. Trust me. <sighs> hmm? I still don't have a clue what's going on, but okay. <laughs> Go on. All will be clear soon. So. What? My, you went out of your way to get all yeah. this? Grandpa helped too. Huh? You don't say. Speaking of my father, where is he? He said these and greens and I would be all you need. Then he went home. Huh? It's not like him to disappear without a word. Wait, the ingredients. They're all Gohan's favorites. Dad realized I wanted to cook something for Gohan then left so we could be together. Oh, well. Oh, he's such a big softy. Huh? Something wrong? <laughs> Not a thing. Now, how about I rustle up something to eat? I'm gonna make you a feast. <laughs> a feast? Yep, how's curry sound? 
Your favourite. Cubby. Oh, bye. Nom nom nom. <laughs> <laughs> that was delicious. Man, that hit the spot. I couldn't eat another bite. Hey. You know, Gohan, I won't be able to cook for you on your space adventure. Think you'll be okay? Well, you could make some pre-cooked meals for to heat up. <sighs> that does sound tough, but I'll have to make do. Doesn't the idea of going to space scare you? Yeah. Nah, I've got an bomber to back me up. Plus, Mr. Piccolo and the others are counting me to bring them back. You're set on going, huh? I have more than a hunch you'll miss Earth while you're out there. Hey! Don't worry, Bill. Me, Mom. My mindset. You've really grown up, Gohan. You may be tired than me, but your heart's much bigger. Oh, Mom. Remember to mind your mouth, even when speaking to aliens. And most importantly, come home safe. Hey! Of course. Sure thing! Right. Not the snake. Rosary. Hmm. Okay, there. Hey. A new thing to make. Make a dish. Hmm. Juicy steam bun. Oh yes. Okay. Uh huh. Grilled fish. Crumbly fried rice. Ooh, yummy. Okay. Any other submissions to do? Oh. There's submission here. I'm not thinking right. There's no way it was really him. Oh, what's going on along? Oh. <sighs> Stop! G Gohan, you're just the guy I wanted to talk to. What's going on, Oolong? Okay, here's the thing. I I just saw something really freaky. Freaky? I saw Yamcha's ghost in the city. What? Yamcha's ghost? Are you serious? Yeah. You think I'd lie about something like this? Mm. The ghost didn't just look like Yamcha. It was flirting with all sorts of babes, too. Uh, oh. I see. Man, even as a ghost, he's more popular than me. Anyway, I've never seen a ghost before, so I'm really freaking out Stop! here. So, uh, Gohan, oh by oh pal, you think we'll see if it's really Yamcha's ghost? Alright. No, I did not expect that. Well, I sort of expected it, but... Okay. Don't you worry, Oolong. I'll Thank go check you. it out. Seriously? Thanks, man. I saw him over by the park, southeast here. J just watch yourself, okay? Alright, so now you wonder what this story careful. really is. Joby gets here too. Yeah. Uh huh. Going on a is not fun. Alright, that's a good thing. Oh, big ol'. Wait, I, is that really Yamcha? <laughs> Thank you very much for taking time to meet with me today. <laughs> I had a really great time. I don't know what it is, but there's something gentlemanly about you. I'm just doing the right thing. A man should always treat a beautiful lady with respect. Yeah. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be leaving now. <sighs> he looks like Yamcha, alright? But there's nothing really ghostly about him. I I guess I'd better follow him just to be sure. 
Looks like head over in that direction. Wait. wait. Uh -huh. wait what are you two doing here? Hey! Tao, Tao, Pai Pai, you don't. You aren't spreading the word about my beloved principal. I need new recruits. <clears throat> I failed to see the point in amazing worthless peons. None of them will have what it takes to be assassins. What? We need students to train, you blockhead. Any help with that, show me props. We can whip into shape. Plus, we need the money. <sighs> <sighs> okay, so you do. So you want to do things the hard hey. way. Oh, you there. Would you be interested in joining the crane school? We're offering a small time limited gift for new students. <sighs> oh, thanks. This one does not have what it takes to be an assassin. See, that kid looks kind of familiar, did we? Oh no. Anyway, pick that up. D metal. Anyway, uh -huh, there he is again. What an absolutely lovely day! Whoop. Oh. Oh. I love things like those. Where should we head next? Huh? Oh, he talked to a different girl this time. <sighs> you know, Yamcha, you're, I don't know, kind of boring now. You're all chilled out and huh? stuff. But my apologies. I promise I'll be better next time if you give me another chance. Please go out for me again. <sighs> I guess I could, but seriously. If you're not more entertained next time, we're done. Got it? <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I'll practice up my jokes for next time. But that's not what I meant by entertaining. Seriously, one. <laughs> hmm. He looks and sounds like Yamcha, but he definitely doesn't talk like him. He's way too polite. He's heading over there now. It looks like he's about to leave town. But I should keep an eye on him a bit longer. <clears throat> okay. Uh -huh. You put my best foot forward. Anyway. What? He's talking to another girl? No! Hope you weren't waiting too long. My, you look lovely today. <laughs> oh, listen to you. You seem to know how to flatter a woman, a woman now. <laughs> oh, it's not flattery, my dear. It's the truth. Right. There you are, punk. So, you're the piece of crap trying to make a move on my woman. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. And you are? Miss, I'm her boyfriend. Come on! He's... My ex. Oh. He's turning into quite the stalker. Huh? Y your ex? Mm. Looks like I gotta take you not to mess with my woman. <laughs> Wipe the floor of this, Susan. Where did he get those from? W wait a second. Can't we sell this dispute like gentlemen? Hey. Gentlemen? Man, just shut the hell up and fight. I can't fight! Definitely not Yamcha. Yeah, something's not right. I'm jumping in. Haha! <laughs> oh no you don't! Oh, 
My machine! Machines. I I can't believe you wimped out and called for help. You'll pay for this. Why does a child like that have so much strength? It's just not natural. <sighs> Thank you for your help, Gohan. Huh? <sighs> P Pua? Huh. Okay, that's Kind of should have been obvious, but wasn't. Huh. Sorry. I'm sorry for deceiving you. I knew something was off. <sighs> Why were you pretending to be Yamcha? Hmm. I was just trying to make sure Yamcha's reputation for the ladies was in good standing for when he comes back. Ah, that's nice. Th that's why you did all this? But you know you wouldn't be able to keep that up for long, right? Bwah! Bwah! <sighs> Jeez, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. Huh? Krillin! Oh, hey, Gohan. Were you looking for Pwa too? Wait, were you looking for me too, Krillin? Yeah, kinda. I need to give you a message from Yamcha. What? A message from Yamcha? Yeah. Yeah. He asked me to give you this message before the fight with the Saiyans. What? So. Give it to me straight, Krillin. We've got no hope of getting out of this fight alive, do we? Yamcha. Well, I'm not going down without a fight. That's the spirit, Yamcha. You've got Pua and Bulma waiting. Damn! I'm in the prime of my life. Think of all the ladies who'll miss me if I'm gone. Huh? What, what are you talking about? <laughs> I got a bunch of dates lined up with some girls I really hit off with, so I can't disappoint them by dying. That's why if I survive the fight for the sands, I'm gonna live my best life. And Poise always watch, got my back too. I can't let my best friend down by not enjoying myself, right? <sighs> what? what? Hmm. But yeah, I've got something I want to say to Pua. If, you know, something happens to me. Come on, Yamcha. Don't get all gloomy on me. Please, Krillin. Uh, Alright, fine. If I draw, die, I know Pua is going to take it real hard and probably go wild trying to fill my shoes. <sighs> you know, like trying to pat things up with all the girls I've did. But I don't really care about that. Pua has done so much for me, but if I'm gone, I want Pua to enjoy life even though I'm not around anymore. Will you tell that to Pua for me? Yamcha. Gotcha. Yeah, you got it. If it comes to that, I'll give Pua your message. But I don't think I'll have to, because you're gonna win. <laughs> well... That didn't turn out to be true. I owe you one! Thanks, Krill. You're a true blue friend. Y Yamcha! Oh, Yamcha! Uh, hmm. Well, actually, there's more to the message. Oh? Th there's more? Please tell me! What else did he say? Um. Hmm. Um, what were their names again? Pearl and Sapphire, I think. He did want you to try and pat things up with those two girls, if you could. <sighs> I mean, he was probably joking when he said that. I I just thought I will give you the full message. <sighs> Yamcha just had to go and ruin the whole thing with that last part. <laughs> Come on, Pearl and Sapphire, right? I'll do what I can. Things be fire as rain by the time Yamcha's back. <laughs> Hurry up and come back, Yamcha! I can't wait to see you! <laughs> Pua 
Squire's got a heart of gold. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Quan managed to turn Yamcha's ridiculous story into something touching. So, yeah, that's what happened. <sighs> Wait, what? Is Pua and not Yamcha's ghost? Jeez, I was scared for nothing. Well, at least I can sleep easy now. Thanks, Gohan. I could tell Pua's going to be super happy to see Yamcha when he's back. We gotta do what we can. And to wish him back as soon as possible. Right. Well, that will do for now. See you all next time. Bye bye for now. We need students to train, you blockhead. Get out here. Um, you guys? Hey. Gohan. Stay back, Gohan! Oh, uh, that's the other me. People tell me my personality changes whenever I sneeze. <laughs>